Good morning. Four years ago, I'm Don Wilson. I'm uh, Leslie's dad. Uh, four years ago, I was driving home one day from uh, one of my daughter's numerous court appearances and suddenly was overcome with this feeling that my life had also become unmanageable. I realized that I was trying to cover up her behavior, trying to protect her visitation with her son, trying to track her whereabouts, making threats, paying bills, and making attempts to get her into treatment. I was in denial, and it was emotionally draining. There I was, sitting at a stoplight one day, feeling isolated and alone, and inattentive enough to narrowly, barely miss hitting a pedestrian in a crosswalk. I stopped shaking. I, I suddenly was overcome with this feeling that I was powerless. I lacked the ability to direct her life, and I had become emotionally codependent. I was in my own disease. At that time, I'd been attending Al-Anon meetings off and on uh, for a year. However, I stopped going after my daughter got into recovery. During that time, I continued my obsession with the program, continued with my enabling, and continued trying to control most outcomes, telling myself if I just tried a little harder, I can cure her disease. Wow, did I have all the signs of an addiction. In January 2008, my daughter entered a court-ordered 90-day treatment program, during which time she became pregnant, facing, facing court-ordered visitation restrictions with her son. During, um, I'm encouraged that new directions for women would be able to provide the support before, during, and after childbirth. She entered treatment and the opportunity to have her daughter while she was a resident there, as you heard. During discussions with her treatment team, I became aware of my role in this disease and that this is truly a family disease. This disease does not occur in isolation. I tried to attend every family group at New Directions for Women, gaining the support of others and take away some more knowledge about the disease of chemical, chemical dependency. This too became a valuable tool in my toolbox. I've also learned that this disease will kill you a fact that I've become all too aware of this past year. I've learned the three C's, I didn't cause it, I can't control it, and I can't cure it. During this time, I became regularly attending Al-Anon meetings, including several parent group meetings each week, and I became, began reading Al-Anon literature, getting a sponsor, and beginning the 12 steps. At New Directions for Women, I was encouraged to discover and examine my own behavior and at attitudes over a period of time, I was able to, dis to discover my feelings and needs, which I ignored far too long by focusing on my addictive uh, alcoholic daughter. As a result, the hurt and anger that I felt began to lessen. I began to embrace self-acceptance and become comfortable in my own skin. Upon completion of the 90-day residential program, my daughter continued her treatment for an additional eight months after her daughter Madeline was born. As a result of the programs at New Directions for Women, I can stand here and tell you that we have both become more resilient, applying the skills and tools needed to continue our healing and our recovery. As a result of my commitment to the process begun at New Directions for Women and continuing in Al-Anon, I have learned to communicate in open and honest and direct ways most of the time. I've learned to set boundaries and I've learned to detach with love. I am committed to using these tools and the skills I've learned for moving into recovery as a family. Thank you.